Uf. <laughs> David D. Wright, the man with a thousand names. I don't know, a thousand identities. I don't, I don't know what, what. How many identities do you have? What, what do you? What do you? Um, quite a few. Quite a fucking few. <laughs> well, I mean, how many? How many tasks do you do? Let's put it that way. I mean, aside from the, the between oh, the theater stop. tasks, between the theater tasks. I'm like and, you. I'm like you. I mean, I'm laughing. <laughs> outside the theater and the, the music business and. You know, my spiritual life and, you know, like that. Yeah. And of course, being a daddy and an ex-husband and, you know, all that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and well, you a know, granddaddy yeah, and all that business. Yeah, you are. Hey, man, I'm putting, I'm, I'm making, I got this uh, robo- Chai tea, Robo Chai tea. You know, Robos is from well, Robos is from um, from this a uh, a plant from South Africa. And Chai, of course, I guess you associate that with India. I love Chai, yeah, with India, right? And then now, look, look, I got some Egyptian licorice. I think I'm gonna. I'm gonna oh put, my goodness! I'm gonna move that together. Oh, you just fucking global, there, boy. Hey man, you gotta be global in this time and age. You know, people want to be everything hey, global, but you gotta, you gotta, you gotta be. Yeah. You have no choice. You know, I mean, the, the, if you're gonna, you gonna be in the game, you're gonna be global. Yeah, but the thing is, you you still have to be rooted in something. You know, people, you can't give up your uh, initial identity or your, you know, whatever. No, we can't. Yeah, can. people do though. Well, you know, the, people do. People do all the time. Yeah, but sometimes they surrender. They surrender their shit. Anything like European, don't get rid of. Like yo, I, I like that European shit. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. And speaking about European stuff like that, now I mean, I well, but just just to be clear, you're my. I, 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 Whatever your identity is for me, you're my spiritual advisor. I know there's a lot of other stuff you do in whatever. Oh, by the way, by the way, before I get into anything, let me thank you so profoundly uh, that that we that you uh, made it available so I could go see um, Ishmael Reed's uh, The Haunting of of Miranda, you know, Lynn Miranda, right. whoever that guy is. Uh, because that's a very valuable thing. Everybody's hooked up on this Hamilton thing, but after seeing that, right. they're like, "Hey, that's what I'm saying. saying. That's what I want to see. I, hey, man, <laughs> I know it's what I would work through doing the CMOC. I'm like, this. He go deep, man. He go inside the shit and see. Let me get him. Lynn Miranda, he's a mother, you know, he's a white Puerto Rican. What the fuck do you expect? <laughs> well, you know, and then, I mean, because you, you grew up in New York, you know how the, how the white Puerto Ricans acted. You know how they, what they were doing. And they weren't going to be black. But not. And so he worked on that play with them white people down there. And, you know, making it happen. And, you know, he was able to sneak in the, the, uh, the, the color casting, you know, the non-color casting and shit. They were able to sneak that in and, um, mm. and, you know, misdirect the history because the history was available. Oh, he didn't know. And then he played it like, oh, Hamilton was a good motherfucking guy. He was just, you know, just that he was you know, initially from Jamaica or some motherfucking Vermont, but me was some shit. Mm -hmm. And he was hooked up with that, that rich family, but he wasn't involved with slavery and that was bullshit. And so now he's around here trying to apologize. Well, is he? I don't pay attention to to to, to stuff, but you know. Yeah, he tries. He tries. He tries, he tries to apologize for Hamilton now. Oh, really? But he already made fucking. He got a billion dollars from Disney. So we, who, I say, I'm sorry, every motherfucking body. Yeah. That's the point. Are, are you gonna Are you gonna take take your plunder and uh, and do something with this plunder? Or are you? Of course, words. Oh are no, words. he's gonna make, he's gonna do some more shit. Are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah, you know, he he got out of Puerto Rico every now and then, give them a hit. <laughs> you know, he you know, he did have to down there for supposed to be fundraising. Yeah, but but is it is it really his fault? Let's think about it. I, I remember, I remember when it was. Look, let me put it this way: when when uh, when the Young Lords came out, you know what I mean? They uh, they 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 was legit, you know what I mean? For uh, uh, how do you say? Right. Uh, the, their pattern was a, was a Black Panther party, and Black Panthers, of course, right, came, came right. from Malcolm X. But the thing is, back then, I remember we're the ones, we're the ones that clearly were saying Black and Puerto Rican. We were we were bringing them, right. we were actually we bringing were, them in. We were very they, clear about that. We were very clear about 
about that. I remember. Yeah, and and, and nobody nobody was really uh, nobody was doing that. We we the ones always bring things in. My problem with a lot of stuff that happens today is that we we no longer we don't realize we did that. But then when we start stuff moving, people. In the a day of an instant, people jump in front of it. You know what I mean? Like uh, before, yeah. it was evident. Yeah. You know, you had to say the uh, let's let's start with just say the sixties. Let's, let's stay with the sixties. The women's movement happens, but they jump and, t- and take the women's movement. The gay movement. Well, hold on a second. Not, shit, hold, hold on, hold on a second. We're not getting to that yet. But the, but so the women jump in in front and do that. Even even with this labor movement, they use the techniques that that black people use. Blah 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 blah. Then now you have right. this whole thing where. It's it's so weird because I remember Malcolm saying, you know, well you don't catch hell because you're you know you Protestant or or, or Muslim or so you know you catch hell because you're black and people forget that. That's right. So so if you're yeah. gonna have, you're gonna have some sort of uh, uh, black gay or black trans or whatever have you, then they don't understand. Yeah, you might be trans. You know, that's your choice or gay. That's your choice. Whatever your your identity is. But right. That's that, your business, me off. But, but that's business, me off. Because they don't talk about black trans lives. Like, I'm like. Black trans lives matter. Well, they wouldn't know you was a transsexual. They know that you're black though when you hit the door. Then, you know, but even even back then, you mean the the, the the gay people I grew up with, they were chill. I mean, I'm one of my biggest bosses. Yeah, uh, yeah they were a lot, uh, ch- they were a lot more chill because nobody had to know you was gay. Nobody gave a fuck. No, you kept it to yourself. Yeah, but nobody. It's like, I like I like to suck on toes. Is that gonna make me like a fucking? I gotta be out with the outer toe sucker. You know what the fuck? <laughs> Stop it, man! Listen, I don't want to get hooked up on this because I have other. Oh, I, let me switch switch a little bit qu- really quickly to the release thing. Something that's been gnawing on my head a lot. Uh, it's like if you want to talk about uh, gay and trans or whatever, have you? Because you know, when 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 I used to go to shelter and stuff like that, or any any damn big time dance party, you know, there's a lot of whistle blowing and stuff like that. And I always remember when you said to me, "You like, no, no, you can't, you shouldn't whistle because that brings a goon down." You know what I mean? That, well, bring no, a no, leg no, down. I mean, but bring a leg down. You know, I'm a child of a goon. I got a goon. Yeah, she what the fuck you want? What you want? You call me for? Yeah, that's right. But but when you have these parties and stuff like that, or even just whistling out, you're, you're bringing a labor down. Now, what does that mean? What, what, what does that? What, do, what would that mean? That means that you call when you whistle, you're calling for a labor, which means that you need his help. Okay. Now you call the labor and, and he come, and he you ain't get he ain't got shit to do. Now he gonna fuck with you and your people. Wait a second, hold on a second. So you're saying, in your house. but remember, you're you 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 you're in a dance floor, or whatever have you, and you're and you're whistling, and so he's coming to a party now. So why shouldn't he just? Want so to he's coming to a party. But, but are you inviting him to the party? That's the question. Because mm. you don't. Know, I mean, if I call, I ain't call like it was to come to no fucking party. Mm. Mm. But like, like, let's say well, okay, I didn't know that I've done it, but I wouldn't do it now because I know I call him to a party. I ain't got shit for him to do unless I'm gonna buy him drinks. <laughs> <laughs> you know, buy, buy drinks and secure him no pussy. It don't make no sense because <laughs> he coming to drink his blood <laughs> at a party. Well, I guess he come. I guess we're oh, going to get up and do this. I guess, I guess we're on this because uh, to tell us the symbol of a legba. You know, when when, when we depict the legba, what, what is the symbol of a legba? I mean, you know. Uh, <laughs> Say that again. What's the symbol of a legba? You know, where with the sucking the thumb. With, 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 what's the. Sucking the thumb, stroking his dick? Yeah. <laughs> That's what he does. Say that That's again. That's what he does when he's, when he's a little boy. Well, little boy, that's what he does. <laughs> Baby. You know, he's like chilling. Yeah, but the thing is, the thing. One of the things, but well, one of the pictures, like he, he, he has, he has a big penis and it's slinged over his his shoulder. At the same time, he's sucking yeah. his thumb. What's going on? That's how big his dick is, and he's sucking his thumb, right? Mm-hmm. 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 Oh, you ask me what it means? Uh, yeah, what it means. It means that he got a big dick and he likes to suck his thumb. Mm-hmm. He likes to have his dick. He likes his dick being wet. He likes his dick stroked. Mm. And so, wow, he's a he's sexual, huh? So, so, okay, well, let me put it. If you was to relate that to what's going on in, in, in the world today or, or the black situation, how, how would you relate that? In a black.
my situation. I'm I mean, not a, let, I'm let, not let, a, let me tell you, in, 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 this, in this whole trans situation, this uh, 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 identifying as, as gay, even lesbian, is, how does a lesbian fit in with this? They don't. See, this is a problem. This is an issue. This is my point. This is my personal point of view. I'm discussing with John Mason and everything. There is a place for same gender sex in the, in the, in the culture. Mm-hmm. Now, you have you have Oshimari, the Rainbow Serpent. Yeah. You have um, Agamo, the Chameleon. Come in. Well, well, you can say, you can, I, mean, I don't want to stop you, but remember, Agamo is also uh, uh, Batala's right hand person, if you want to put it that right, way. Right. Right hand. Right. But let's see, they also have a female, a female aspect of a Batala called Ocean La. Mm-hmm. Ah. Okay. Okay. Ocean La is a female aspect of, uh, of a Batala. Or someone called a Rishan La. Mm. Ocean La or Rishan La. Now you also have you got Agamo, you got Oshimari, the Rainbow Tribute, which is male six months to female six months, and then you have um, Olokon, which is considered to who you talk to, male or female. Mm-hmm. Well, okay. And anything else? Well, see, because I think if this was actually clear. Uh, to the culture at large, but let me put it this way, we're so ensconced in, in uh, Western religions or even Eastern religions, I, don't know, I guess Eastern religions might have uh, some, some of this aspects, but it seems to me the, the Yoruba culture, um, uh, it, it, it's a little clearer to me, you know, I, I, can, I can roll with that, I can, I can have an understanding of it, you know? Right, right. Well, I guess, I guess we should also explain that, that you, you are actually a Yoruba, you act, you're my spiritual advisor, but you're a Yoruba priest. Now, now, first of all, you've been in the culture for a long time, even before you became a priest. Can you just um, explain that a little bit? Can I explain what? No, man, just just uh, go through your history of, of, the, of dealing with the Yoruba culture and, and the strain you came through. Oh, well, I, 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 I came to the Yoruba culture as a, because of the drumming. The drumming is what attracted me, the music. Um... Ooh, ooh, listen to this, listen to this, look, look. Doesn't the music, isn't that the church thing anyway? In other words, a lot of people get attracted to the church because of the music. And some people stay because of the music. And a lot of people get their stuff because of the music. So that that way you're no different than anybody else, no? No, not, not that aspect. It was the music. When I just say, I brought Vanessa there, my sister, she stays. Mm. She stays. I didn't come back for another, almost 20 years later when I came back. And I came out because she got initiated. She got initiated ten years before me. Mm-hmm. And uh, and her and her eat eat ceremony is when they told me that uh the, when they told her actually told our family that we our whole family was connected that we would all come back you know the, the back way. I, she would be first, I'd be second, my sister would be third, and my mama would come back. Mm. You know, and that's. My sister did not. Jean didn't come in, but my mother came in when I got when I got married. My mother got her bees of her, her bees of water. She came in a layup. When I got initiated, she didn't do it with Vanessa with it, but she when I got initiated. So what's your, yes, sir. your initiation of, uh, time? Um, when, when's your birthday? When's your initiation birthday? How, I mean, how many years have you been? Until, I'll be twenty nine in, in October. In October. Uh-huh. Yeah, in October. October first. Yeah. Oh, I'm not going to make it back in time. I'm not going to be back until the middle of October, back into New York. Well, I actually can't do anything. That's okay. What's going to happen? What's going to happen this year? Are you going to? Are people going this to gather? Year I'm not doing too much. Next year, I'm looking to have a big shindig. Mm-hmm. Next year, I'm looking to have a big. It's going to be thirty. I'm looking to have a really big one. Something mm-hmm. really big. I'm looking to have it strings and things. I'm mm-hmm. looking to try to get a, a string quartet. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's nice. That's to nice. Play. Uh, I guess we should say and the drummer. Now, oh. now many times you 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 rolled you rolled the cow in that many times. But, uh, well, yeah, many times you rolled the cowrie shells for me. But every time you every time you throw the bones, I mean, throw the cowrie shells, it seems like the the the, 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 the culture says, "Nah, leave that boy alone." What, tell us about what is that? What is that about? It always trips me out. <laughs> well, you don't have to be initiated, as far as I know. You know, there's no reason you don't have to. 
And he said, everybody doesn't have to be a priest. Mm. Everybody don't have to be a priest. Everybody don't have to be, you know, the most you may need at some point would be reason words if you need that, but you, you don't even need that. As of the last time I read you, so it's like, you know, it is what it is. Mm. And you accept that. We ain't trying to, I'm not out here trying to, like, man, I was just talking about this all the time. Some people are looking to have a bunch of God children. I ain't doing that. Mm. I ain't trying to do that. Because everybody don't need to be made. Everybody don't, everybody's not necessarily, see, most people come in for the wrong reasons anyway. Mm. They're looking for that, for power. Mm. You know, um, they're looking for power, they're looking for, for magic, they're looking for, they're not looking to really improve themselves, they're looking mm. to, you know, the shortcut. And there's no shortcut. When they, and they, they find that there is no shortcut. Mm. There, there are no shortcuts. You get, you still got to do it. And there's magic and there's power, but you got to work for that. It ain't just coming to you. Because you, you got crowds. Well, what's fascinating to me uh, uh, is this whole thing. This whole, let me put it this way, because your, your strain of, of, of the culture, you know, you have the, you have, first you have Nigeria, right? And then you have the culture. Right, but it's actually Cuban. It's Cuban, yeah. Okay, hold on. I, just, I, Cuban I, I mean, but this, I know, but the source is Nigeria, and then you go, then, then, then the Brazil has another strain, then the Cuban right. line that goes to North America has another strain, and you're saying you're from the, the strain that comes through Cuba. Yeah. Is that true? Right. Okay, okay. Now here's what not confusing to me, but um, you have identified me as a child of Ogun, which is kind of right, quite, quite right. interesting because I everything everything I do, everything is unbelievable. Is actually Ogun, and even the fact that I'm in North American Ogun's colors is is a, a green, black with a bit of red is is, is right. to me is informative. But but now he, here's the trick. Now now here's the trick. I, I was just uh, listening. Sometimes I listen to Tariq Nasheed just for entertainment purposes only, right? And he's got a product out. He's, he's called something like Ogun Juice, right? And it's a it's a pepper spray or it's a you know what you know for for defense or whatever have you. He's marketing thing as Ogun Juice, right? Tell me what tell me what that's gonna do. I mean that's I mean you know, it does what? It's Ogun Juice, right? The spirit of what? Well, so it's called Ogun Juice. He's marketing it. And it's a, it's a pepper spray, you know, it's a, it's a, you know, whatever, those, those sprays, the, the defensive spray, whatever happened. And he's just he's marketing it. <laughs> stop, stop. See, you made me laugh because this is why. What, what's going to happen with that, man? Just, it makes more sense if he said it was Chango juice. Because mm, mm. that's hot, see. Mm. Not Ogon juice. It's Chango juice. You know, the cow old juice, even. But the cow old juice. I'm sorry, I missed that. Uh, hold on, I missed that. Now, you, you say it's Shango juice, or what's the other word? Cabo juice? What did you say? Cabo, Cabo, juice. Mm. Well, what, what, what is that? What, 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 what would be the significance of that? Why is, why is that? that? That's Shango's other name. That's Shango's other name. Ah, okay, okay. That's the praise. That's the praise of Shango. Cabo, oh. Cabo, Cabo, Oh, so I'm a, the okay. king is the king didn't hang. Mm, mm. This is fascinating. King, huh? I said this is fascinating to me because I guess that's the reason I bring it up. Because as soon as he said that, I said first it's oh, goon just if me it doesn't even sound right. But that's all right. I'm not. It's pretty, not I'm, right. I'm, I'm, it's not right. <laughs> it's not right because it's anybody who's gonna be spraying hot shit would be Sean Go. Well, the, the, but here's the thing, man. Here's the thing. He's been saying for years of the spirit of Ogun or whatever Ogun Ogun is, because you know Ogun is the warrior. But here's, you know, I'm, it's, it's strange. Shango's that, not a warrior. That's right. Shango's not a warrior. But Shango's a, a general. He's a general warrior. He's a general. Mm. No, but, but Legba, Ogun, and Ochozi are the warriors. Mm. And also, that's it. Mm. So yeah, four. But here's what I'm saying. Uh, I, I think the, the the problem is that he's been using the word Ogun for so long because he thinks he's in battle or he's, whatever he thinks. Now, I, I know Machala of Ogun for a number of reasons. Everything leads to it, including my last name, which means Sloan means warrior. So I understand all that. And I always, you know, I'm, I'm always sort of weird with that. But the, the trick is that for me, when I research uh, Ogun, I look at it as, yes, he's the warrior, but because he, because, um, um, Ogun deals with iron and, and iron makes steel, right? 
but also the steel, right. steel is the instruments for surgery, for 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 healing. Right, he's also, he's also a surgeon. So I look at I look um, for me, and it's strange he's enough. Who is an architect? He's a surgeon. You know, he's a uh, you know a smith, and all of that. You know, everything that builds, everything builds, and everything destroyed is by Ogun. But this this is this is this is my point. I mean, even when I was in the service, I was a medic. You know what I mean? So for me, it, right, every, exactly. everything that makes sense. Everything points to to healing and to, and 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 everything for me. Right. For for other people would think a uh, uh, ogun uh, would be like how do you say a uh, 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 destroyer? I think ogun. Right, as, but, as, because as, he's that too. He's but that he's too. also a, you know he's a healer of sorts. Mm. You know you you can't do you know and you can't do shit without ogun. But here's now. Check this out. Check this out. You you know I live yeah. in, I know, know I live in South Africa when I'm when I'm not quarantined in the United States of North America. Pff, that's where I live. Okay, I live in the Eastern Cape. Now my name, the translation of my name of my last name Sloan, uh, in in the in the in the Kosa, uh, well, it's really the um uh, the the uh the Sutu the Sutu it's like Sutu and the Lesotho people the closer people are sort of close but there's a sort of a, 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 a cross thing with the language but my name translates to Lhote it translates to Lhote in the, in this in this language but Lhote is both for the for for his for his comrades he's the warrior but for uh, right. or, or a friend okay. right but for his enemies, you know what I mean? He's like the terrorizing thing. You know, he's like definitely the word. Right, right. Right? So it's weird. I'm, mean, I, I'm, I'm just trying to put out some, I'm just trying to ask you something here. It seems like I'm consistent, but I'm asking, is everybody else consistent? In other words, in other words, um, it's, if you don't know your, if you don't really know your identity, then you can't be consistent in your identity. Let's put it that way, because you be you're, you're thrown off, you're thrown off. You know, like like we call black people in America. But I just reason why, reason why I like uh, ADOS, American Descendants of Chattel Slavery, because to me it's it's, a, it's another different identity that we have to. It's, not, a, uh, it's a distinction. Yeah, it's right. a distinction that being a black American or an African American. See, that's uh, ADOS like. Similar to the descendants of the Middle Passage are, are distinctions because presently, presently, we have Africans over here who, 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 who and this would never want to fucking save slave ship. You know what I'm saying? Mm. You got you got people that go from Africa go, go to England and uh, France and come over here. And now they become African American. And then he's like, well, well I'm, Afri- I'm Nigerian American. I'm like, what the, what the fuck is that? Mm-hmm. You know, that's some of that 19th, 20th century shit. When they first, when they first started coming over like that. Mm-hmm. You follow me? I'm, I'm, I'm following you. Surely. Surely. So, um, yeah, so, and I got issues. I got issues. People that come from the Caribbean that come here and claim shit. You know, like, yo, you know, you really don't understand because you come from a place where you're the majority and the white people let you do what the fuck you want to do to keep it, to keep the peace. Mm. <laughs> you know, but you, you come in and try that shit, they'll let you know that shit that you're a nigga in a heartbeat. Mm. Mm. I mean, that happened. And it has been, it's happened. Yeah, well, you know, when, when I was traveling in Central America, uh, when I went to Belize, I didn't know anything about Belize. You know, you know, formerly British Honduras, right. and I went there and I was surprised. I said, "Oh, they're a black country. They speak English." I'm going. I was like, "Whoa! What? I never heard of this." You know what I mean? It's very. It was quite interesting the time like that. But let's. I don't want to. I'm going to stay on. I don't want to dwell on this because it's it's your birthday. So what? So what does this mean? And not only the culture, just in fact. Yeah. What does this mean? What does it mean for you? You know, what I mean? and all that you know, all that you travel. What does it mean for you? What What, what birthday is this anyway? I know which one it is. I just want you to say. Sixty-nine. That- As my friend called me last night, she said, "Well, a woman who's known me, we've been into it." She said, "Oh, now you're in your favorite year." I said, "Yeah, but I got a brand new dick now, so you know, <laughs> different." <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Hold on. You know I'm also into numbers, right? So, like, six six and nine, that, that, that would be basically, what, uh, uh, 15, right? Five, five and one is six. So, no, this is your education year. This is, you're supposed to be, you know, chilling, you know, well, not chilling, but educating. You're supposed to be, you know, learning stuff and, 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 and like, saying, I have you know, learned this, though. I have learned this, though. <laughs> And you're supposed to if you're supposed to give out this learning. Oh no, let me not go there because I know where you're gonna go. Just stop. I'm I'm through. I'm just <laughs> stop. What happened? Because you you're gonna say, oh yeah, I'm learning a lot. And then they just over sixty nine. I'm teaching my sixty. <laughs> stop. You know, no, forget that. Let's go on to something else. Of course, <laughs> look. I don't want to keep you because I know you got stuff to do. You know, I mean, well, you know, it's early in the not right. early in one. I mean, I just finished. I just finished walking the door. I was. I, I literally just came in even before I took a wash. I wanted to talk to you because you know I wanted right. to get, I want to good, get you before man. you I'm be good. good. I'm, mm. I'm, I'm grateful. Mm. 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 I am grateful. I am so grateful mm. to be sixty nine because you know I, I talked to my son and my grandson yesterday. It's like I'm grateful to be this age, really. You know, mm. because most of my friends are gone. People that I know are gone. They're like, they're on the other side. Yeah. And I'm still here. And I'm still active and doing shit. You know what I'm saying? Yo, know, but by the way, I might, um, let me thank you once again for for helping with the transition of my brother, which is a is a strain. It was a, it was a it's a weird thing for me to, right now. Not just my brother, but just the fact that I'm in the states. And when I came to the states, you know, you know, it was just everything is so weird. Uh, um, and and now I'm, I'm being quarantined. I mean, I'm quarantined in New York. I can quarantine effectively, but New York had too much fear. I felt too much fear. <laughs> I mean, weird yeah. it, it was in the air and I had to get out but, but it, luckily, it made me fear but it kept us our corona down mm, you mm. know it kept the corona down here being in New Jersey and New Jersey just followed the fucking suit they mm -hmm. said okay this is what they're doing this is what I'm gonna do yeah try to stay there and it worked you. out yeah, yeah, and now, now I'm in, now I'm in, uh, Min uh, um, uh, Minnesota. So I'm, I'm in, uh, where am I, Missouri? Uh, but I'm out here in the woods. Oh. You know what I mean? I'm out here in the woods. I'm sort of, I'm quarantined. It's a big house. I have different spaces, whatever. We're all, we're, we're fine. It's just me and my my best friend. He, you know, whatever. But here, I'm, right, I'm right, doing, right, right. right now, I'm recording. You. I have these different places that I record in different reality. I've been talking to people. It's very, it's fascinating to me. You know, uh, uh, but also, but but I've just got a, a thing. Is I might. I've been invited. Well, sort of weird. I might uh, go to Canada, uh, not not soon. But if I just stay here, much you know, like through the through the end of the year, I might go to Canada for a second, and that's going to be a little interesting reality if that happens. You know what I mean? But you know, yeah. anyway, I'll be back in October. Then I gotta go to. Uh, then I'll be uh, because I'm gonna spend Thanksgiving with my sister down in Virginia. And plus, I gotta vote. What's happening with your wife? Oh, oh, this is the, okay. Oh man. Because let me, uh, David. I am so fortunate, but you, you know, Gertrude is unbelievable. First of all, we we've adjusted, but we basically say this is like wartime. Like if if you're if you're if your right, man, exactly. if, so yeah, if your man goes out and he's gone for eighteen months, well, that's that's what what happens. You know, she's adjusted to that. Down there now, what's happening in South Africa? They are going through it now. Because you know the culture, you know they gotta they hug up on each other, they they crowd in each other. Right. I, I just sent this thing out what's happening in Port Elizabeth, and they they're finally taking it real seriously because it's really coming home. So I, I, I'm I'm going to get some report, some more reports, but they're going through it. But my wife is safe because you know our space, you know our, our land, you know she she. When you live at yeah yeah we're, we're in the rural areas, but but more importantly. Um, and actually, we have a big hospital next door, but the hospital shut down. She, she and Alice, the, the pharmacy has the pharmacy has no no medicines, whatever have you. The people Holy can't shit. people can't get any supplements and stuff like that. So I'm taking I'm I'm drinking licorice tea for my for my lungs. My the VA sent me you know a B12 or you know I can do, but they they don't have any of that stuff. You know what I'm saying? So, shit. so unless you hook, unless you hooked up with a sangoma, you know you you you're gonna hey problem. You know, wow. But she's but she's fine. I mean, you know. But I'm I'm you know, you know. I'm not a worrier. You know what I mean? I can't worry. It's not. But I saw my right. grandmother right. worry right. too much. My friend right. here, he's my friend here. He's a Libra too. He worries with that heavy. But I just don't have that gene. But here's the interesting thing. I always say that I've actually married my 
basically actually my, my, my grandmother and my, my grand aunt, you know, my, my great aunt, my grand aunt, they're, 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 we're the same tribe. And like we have the same thing. Like we, we'll laugh at stuff because things are absurd to us. So rather than take it seriously, we'll laugh. You know what I mean? We'll laugh at right, it. It's, it's, right. it. I can't explain it. I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm incredibly fortunate to to have have that kind of man, woman that has that kind of mentality that, that understands like that. So I'm, I'm, we're cool, you know. Well, just another. What else could you do? You you can't do nothing. Right. Exactly. Exactly. And this thing is going to last longer than people think because this 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 virus is not what people think. This is not a regular virus. Now, when viral no, season this, comes, this, when the flu season, virus comes, that mutates. So we're looking at two years. I think. That, that's that's the other problem. You know what I mean? And then and then yeah. then that with the whole thing. I just read this thing. I think I may have sent it to you. This thing. Uh, Dr. Tracy McCarthy said this thing. Basically, he says people understand this virus doesn't just exist in your lungs and your and the fever in your head, whatever have you. But this can go through the right. fecal matter. So you have pets and a dog will have it go through the fecal or, or sanitation workers or whatever have you. Right. They they're more exactly. vulnerable. So people are worried about uh, doctors and hospitals, uh, nurses, whatever have you. What about the sanitation workers? This is this is uh, this is I don't think people have grasped what's, what what this is. It's unbelievable. No, they, they haven't. Is... They haven't. They haven't. They haven't. They really haven't. Mm. They really. I, did, I was saying at Seven Eleven last night. And this little girl, back to well, I said, "Could you back up?" She said, "I'm only 16. I said, "I don't give a fuck if you too. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't want it. Just yeah. back up off me, you know." I did. I did. This, this this woman was walking her dog. Her dog came came close to my dog. I said, "No, no, don't do that." Because she wouldn't let the dog sniff. I said, "Don't do that." And she looked. Right, she exactly. looked. And then I explained to her what Doctor Tracy McCarthy was saying: how the dogs, and then then the dog be licking on your face, and you get it or whatever have you. And then she said, exactly. well, Then she says, "Well, I re she said something about I respect or, or you know I understand whatever." She was very good about it. You know what I mean? But you could see first right. she was like, "Whoa!" And plus, you know, plus she's a white woman. You know what I mean? You know, and, oh, and, you know whatever. But she had to be Karen. careful. No, no, no. She wasn't really a camera. She understood. I could see her in the eyes. She understood what I was saying. You know, she said, "I want to exactly. respect what you said." Okay. So, so I, I didn't really have that problem. I almost had a Karen here. Let me tell you what happened. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to end this here. Here's what happened. I was walking the dog, walking the dog back, and so the dog is barking at some squirrels. Right, this lady was driving out with her little SUV or RV, whatever the heck it is, a big old car. Right, and she's and she says, "Oh, is your dog barking at a deer?" I'm going, "There ain't no gonna be no deers around here." Then I said. I said no. He's after school. I said, "Oh, I don't know these deer. I don't want the deer to eat my to eat my uh, my flower bed or whatever, something like that." And I was saying to you, this would go two ways. Either she was a Karen and didn't know that I was in the neighborhood, try to find out, right? Or or, or right. she was or, or she was just being super, you know, white lady nosy. You know what I mean? I don't know. It, was, it right. could go a bunch of ways. Anyway, uh, anyway, I, I I leave these folks to what they are. You know, I don't. I, don't, I think she just wanted to hear me articulate. This is what happens to a lot of white people. Let me tell you, this is what happens to a lot of white people. If if they hear me talk articulate, they feel very comfortable. Oh, this is one of those Negroes that, oh, oh my, it's so good. They, they, this, is, this, they, this, is, this is not the one of them John Lewis mumbling mouth Negroes. You know what I mean? This is, <laughs> this is, right, exactly. He, he may exactly. not hurt me. <laughs> He's not going to start no revolution. <laughs> That's it, man. Little do they know. Okay, <laughs> okay look, man, anything else you want to say before, before we wrap this up, you know? I love you, man. Thank you for calling. Oh man, I love you more. Yeah, you've been so instrumental in my life, and I really, I really appreciate. So about gratitude, I'm grateful. I'm super grateful that I was, I was created, uh, started breathing in this time period. That I could meet a lot of people in this time period that's still breathing and doing good work. That's the only thing right. I can really say. Me too. Me too. Really. All right, man. I met some good people. All right, man. And you were a good mentor for radio. I tell you that. <laughs> yeah, pretty good. All right, man. You take care. You too, right? All right. Later. Later.